what's going on welcome back to my channel before i get into this video don't forget to like share and subscribe hit your notification bell so you'll know every time i upload another video this video is kind of a hard one for me to make i debated whether or not i should make this video then what i gotta say over the past couple of years being on social media i get to realize that social media is a dangerous place it's not for the weak-hearted it's not for people who has problems with self-esteem or problems with depression. Social media, especially Instagram and Facebook, can be very dangerous. If you're not strong, it can make you take your own life. Now, I find on social media, people gravitate towards the negative stuff. They tend to run with hearsays without finding out factualities. They tend to feed off what other people have to say in regards to people. I mean, I've sat back for the past two years and I've watched how people bring other people down, say malicious things about other people, including myself. They've said quite a lot of shit about me on social media over the past year, couple of years, two years. I don't make it bother me because I'm stronger than that. And for me, I'm not going to sit down and argue with people that knows nothing about me. They don't know me from anywhere. So whatever they want to talk about me, they could say it doesn't bother me. It doesn't faze me one bit. But not everybody is as strong as I am. People will lose their minds just by going on social media listening to what other people have to say about them, whether it's true, false, made up stories, it doesn't matter. Not everybody knows how to take it. In regards to the spy situation, I've been following all the stories that have been coming out on social media. I've read them and my thing is, when she was nominated for the Grammys, like, yeah, it went viral. Yes, people were talking about it, nominated. Because we've seen it out there, right? On multiple platforms. Now, this situation about her being in a coma, on life support, and the whole shebang. Now, I find people are so quick to run with negativity without hearing or finding out the facts. When it comes to hearsays, I don't do hearsays. I do not do hearsays. Unless I'm there, or unless the person itself themselves told me, or their family members, even the fact some family members can be very sketchy and iffy. So unless I hear from the horse's mouth itself, I'm not gonna run with the story because I don't know whether or not it's true or false. With everything that's circulating on the internet in regards to Spice and her health and so-called surgery and all that, and people are running with it and saying, yes, this is true. They heard from credible sources, Ray Tay Tay, blah, blah, blah. How credible are these sources? Are they related to her? Were they there when it happened? No. So until Spice comes out or an immediate family member comes out and say, okay, this is the situation with Spice, it's all hearsay. We don't know for sure, right? But people are so quick to judge. I read one article where they're saying, oh, she didn't have to go do no surgery and that she's wasting her money and it's her money. It's her body. If she decides that she's not comfortable in her body and she decides to go do surgery, who are we to judge? 
Spice didn't put it out there on her Instagram page or Facebook or any platform at all saying, oh, I'm going to DR to do a tummy tuck or I'm going to DR to do this. No, so we're all just speculating right now that she went to the Dominican Republic to get surgery done. We don't know this for sure. So for every platform that's running with the stories, oh, she's in a coma, oh, she's dying. This one lady, I can't remember her name, she came out and she's saying she did her investigation and she heard from good sources that, you know, she, she the she's in a, a bad state and the, the family needs to prepare to airlift her from the DR to the States. Now, my thing is Spice has her money. And I'm sure the family knows that if she's in this situation where her life is at stake, I'm sure she has more than enough money to fly back into the United States of America, get better medical care. I'm sure that's one of the first things they would think of the family or whoever is, you know, overseeing her health. That's the first thing that they would think of. Yes, even though when you're in a certain situation in order for you to to travel or medical attention, you have you you know, you have to be in you have to be stable enough to make that journey. Right? So I think instead of coming out with all the negativity and the judgments and the who say or who she say or whatever source they're getting their information wait for Spice or her family to come out and say something because for all we know this is another publicity stunt for her to drop an album because she fooled us before a lot of people were running with the story Oh, she bleached her skin. She did this. She did that. When really it was just gimmicks in order to drop her album. So how are you or how are we not so sure that this is the same situation? And the thing that bothers me, the, the part about this story that bothers me the most is the fact that where Minister Marion Hall, a.k.a. Lady Saw, now you're in church and you're supposedly a woman of Christ, a born-again Christian, a pastor, somebody who should know right from wrong. And... The video that I saw where you're in the mirror and you're playing your song, keeping in mind I love that song. I think it's an awesome song. It's a great comeback song. And you're fixing up yourself. To me, that's you sh throwing shades. I don't know for anybody else, but I personally think she was showing throwing shades at Spice. Because the way she was carrying on, she was showing her body as if she's saying, look at me, I'm... I'm sexy. I didn't have to do surgery. That's fine. To each his own. Like, if you are not comfortable in your skin and you decide to do surgery, go right ahead. If you have the money to do it and you could fund it, go right ahead. Do it. But don't knock somebody else for doing it all because you didn't do it. Who gives you that right? So, as a Christian person, that is just grimy. That is just some... A next level of throwing shades. I did not. I'm not going to say I did not expect that. I somewhat kind of expected that from her. But with, on the same note. I expected better. I expected her to come out. And if this was the. Tr if this situation is true. Come out and put all differences aside. You being a pastor. And get social media into prayer and fasting over this lady's life but for you to come out and blatantly throw shades like that 
girl. I don't know the lady from nowhere. I just like her music. I like her vibes. I think she's a straight shooter and I love that about her. But to me, that was just, that was not even throwing shades. That was dashing shades. And another thing that puzzles me is the fact that the Jamaica star always, they're always the first ones to run with the bullshit. And I've searched everywhere. Maybe I missed it, but I've searched everywhere. And they didn't bust the story. They had nothing to say. And for them not to say anything, it just leaves me to believe that this is just some fake bullshit. Anyways, that's just my take on it. I don't believe all the drama that's surrounding this situation. I don't believe that she's on no life support. I don't believe that she she had no heart attack. I just don't believe any of the stories that I'm seeing. But if something is true about all this story... I wish that the same way how social media can use negativity to ruin people's lives, I really hope that social media can come together and lead a prayer and fasting for this lady to pull through whatever situation it is. Let's all come together. For the people who started running with the story, the people that with the big platforms with the how much millions and thousands of subscribers, why not start a live with everybody to come over and we all do prayer and fasting for this lady if this is the situation. This is just my humble opinion. Again, we do not know if any of this is true. I really hope to God that it's not true. But if it is, let's use social media positivity this time. Let's use social media to pray for her. To ask for healing for her. Again, as I said, social media is the devil the devil's stomping ground. It is what it is. But guys, if Spice is truly in this situation, let us come together as a nation because for years she has been entertaining all of us. Let us come together as a nation, pray for her, pray for her family, hope for her a speedy recovery if the situation is true but knowing my girl spice i think this is just a publicity stunt for another grammy nominated hit album that's honestly my personal opinion anyways again i'm just here to share my part of the whole drama with that said don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit your notification bell so you can know whenever time you girl upload another video. And never mind. I'm going to bed. I look like a hot mess. So do not, I repeat, do not come for me. You hear I'm warning you, don't come for me.